What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here in front of this Chase Bank, which is adorned with this really amazing, intricate mosaic. One of about 50 LA banks that has murals, mosaics, sculptures. So what is it about LA banks that inspired this architectural artwork, and what's the story behind the artist who created them? Let's get into it. What's amazing is all of these different artworks are unique and they feature the history of Los Angeles. This right here is a Franciscan missionary and the native people. Then we move on to the vaqueros and the ranches of early Los Angeles, the gold rush, which brought so many people to California. And then finally, the industry that made Los Angeles, the movies. And giving some personality and local flavor is exactly what the artist Millard Sheets had in mind when he designed all of these artworks in the, at one point, 100 different branches that displayed them throughout Los Angeles. But who was the artist Millard Sheets and why was he selected to leave such a unique mark on the LA landscape? Sheets was an artistic prodigy winning his first competition at the age of 12. He developed a bold new style of watercolor painting that introduced the country to a region more known for its rugged frontiersmen than artists. He also went on to become an architectural designer and helped design the seal for the county of Los Angeles. But the story of the bank starts with Howard Amundsen Sr., who bought Home Savings and Loan in 1947. Home Savings and Loan thrived in the post-World War II building boom. And Amundsen continued to buy more banks, which he considered boring, so he wanted to make a change. He fired off a letter to Sheets, whom he'd never met, and he told him that he wanted to design bank buildings that would be exciting 75 years from now. Sheets picked up the phone to call Amundsen and ask about building costs and guidelines, but the home savings founder said, you have carte blanche, do what you want. The result was banks clad in travertine and trimmed in gold, adorned with mosaic murals, stained glass, and sculptures that celebrated the family life, the history, and the culture of Los Angeles and California. The mosaics were fashioned by Sue Hurdle and installed by British craftsman Dennis O'Connor. And the collaboration between Sheets and Home Savings produced 40 banks until Amundsen passed away in 1968. The architectural artwork was well received and 80 more Home Savings branches were designed by the Millard Sheets Studios until it was sold to Washington Mutual 30 years later. I mean, these really are little snippets of LA life. They're very cool. Now, unfortunately, as renovations took place, some of the murals were removed. And despite public outcry, some of the branches were demolished as well. But driving around Los Angeles, you could see these incredibly important public art. They really are a romantic vision of California and Los Angeles. So even though home savings is long gone, a lot of this artwork is still here and should be appreciated because it's an important part of architectural and art history in Los Angeles. And now you know why so many LA area banks have these murals, mosaics, and sculptures. All right, LA, it's been a minute.